This is Les Connard with the Washout Watchdog, and we're here at the World of Concrete 2012, and I want to show you a little bit about my product. What I have is a gravity-fed chute washout system that attaches to each truck. So my gravity-fed washout system is something that you use when it's time to wash out your truck on a job site. Right here is the rack that uh, contains our bucket. And uh, this is mounted on the side of the truck. Once you get done unloading your concrete and it's time to rinse down your chutes, you simply, you can use a scraper, scrape everything out of the chute, and then attach this bucket to the chute. So I'm going to lay this bucket aside. This bucket is now attached to the chute of a concrete truck. What I like to do, it's a very, very fast system. Because I have a valve on my bucket, you're not going to have to put a hose on until it's time to drain. So we're going to rinse down our chutes. If I have more than one chute on, I'm going to just put my bucket on the ground, keep my valve closed, rinse the three or four chutes that you've got on there, hang them up, and then bring this to the flop over so it's a very fast situation. I don't have my hose hooked up yet. I'm going to wash all around behind my hula skirt, get everything clean before I go upstairs. I'm going to lift my, uh, hook up my hose, open my valve, and lift my chute up to the highest position so that the water can drain into a tank that's attached to the truck. I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to wash down my fins, I'm going to wash everything from the unloading hopper, and when I get back, this bucket's going to be totally drained. I'm going to tilt it, the last little bit of water comes out, shut off my valve, unhook my hose, take my bucket off, put it back in the rack, and I'm done and ready to go down the road. Very fast process. We have a number of different types of tanks for different kinds of trucks. So we have some pictures here that might show you that. Uh, the top picture here is called a platform tank. So they really don't have any room behind their fenders, but they have room on that. So this is a flat tank that sits there. This one happens to be on Lafarge up in Canada, um, up in Fort McMurray. And um, it's insulated so that the water doesn't freeze. And so that's a holding tank. You can see the 90 degree up on top, the valve. And those plugs will allow any sediment that gets built up in there to take it. Down below is what we call a fender tank. And that tank has actually got a rack that holds up the fender. So we take off a portion of the fender, put our tank in that area if it's kind of tight. Again, you can see by the bucket that the bucket's higher than the tank, the water goes right in. Uh, over here is another configuration. Um, this one right here is called our uh, uh, flat tank, nine-legged tank. And it lays right on top of a fender, very easy to put on. Again, you see the inlet on top and the valve on the bottom, a little clean out on the right. And you can see the whole situation there is that the bucket's higher than the tank. It drains, and it's drained by the time you get down. You can also see in the picture about an inch of uh, aggregate that was left in that. When you get back to the plant, you're going to have water in the tank, and you might have aggregate in the bucket. As you can see by the bucket, we have a screen inside. So what happens with this is the rock and sand's going to stay here. This shield makes sure that when you're washing, all the water gets inside the bucket. When they get back to the plant, our suggestion, you can see that this this rack is designed that the driver walks it in and out. He's going to have some aggregate left in his, uh, in his bucket when he gets back. What we suggest is that he loads and prepares for the next uh, round of concrete. He's going to go to an area that you wash out the truck. It's a perfect area to get rid of this waste because you have a pit at that place. So you're going to come and leave this laying inside the rack and you're going to hit it with a hose and all the aggregate is going to come out and they're going to put that in the pit. And before he goes upstairs to clean his unloading hopper, he's simply going to open the valve, go upstairs, set his load, clean his unloading hopper, come back down, shut off the valve, uh, open this up, get out any debris, hit it with a, hit it with a hose, and uh, it's ready to go for the next round. And that's pretty much our product. It's very simple. A couple of things. Uh, our tanks are insulated, so it's like having an ice chest on the truck. We've had them up in Edmonton for a couple of years and they're working great. The water comes back as water, not frozen. Um, our buckets are very, very durable and uh, made to last. They're designed with driver safety in mind. Come out, hold it tight to the body, get a handle here. If they wanted to empty the aggregates, then it's a system like that. But what I like most about it is I've, I drove for 20 years and I wanted to make sure that two things, that nothing leaked out so I have a valve on it, and that when I carry the bucket, it's right at the right height. And when I put it in the rack, it's at the right height. So that we don't have any driver injuries as they're using our product. Creedheads.
awesome piece of machinery. Les, thanks for a great demo on the Washout Watchdog. If you guys want to learn more about the Washout Watchdog, go to washoutwatchdog.com or check it out at our website at maconcrete.com. And of course, you know we love you at concreteanswers.tv. See ya!